As we sit here in the Senate Press Gallery, we're acutely aware that this historic day has no precedent in the history of the United States. Impeachments have occurred. Removal from office have occurred. But never until now has an incumbent president been Nixicized. Walter, I, I think they're bringing him in now. Yes, Eric, the doors of the Senate chamber are open. I don't see anything yet, but the most incredible foul smell is rising from the Senate floor. I still can't see anything. The chamber is filled with smoke. But now I think I can make out... Oh, good Lord. This is an unimaginable sight, ladies and gentlemen. The President of the United States is being wheeled into the Senate chamber on the presidential bed. A four-poster with a yellow canopy that's been splattered and stained by... But Walter, his arms and legs Yes, are... the president is tightly bound. By the uh, Senate rules of procedure, he's opening his mouth now. He is about to speak. Peace with honor. That's all I ask. <laughs> Who'd like to hop up here now and give me a peace with honor? <laughs> uh, uh, Eric, uh, can you give us the order of drill for this nixicism? Walter, our best information is that it's going to be performed by the prominent evangelist and close friend of the president, the Reverend Billy... We have met before. You're damn right we have. I know you for what you are. I know you despite the dissembling mask you are wearing at this hour. I know you for your evil works. And I for yours, Jocko. The most contemptible of which is the possession of the body of the leader of the entire free world. And I Tell command all, you with all the power of my righteousness. I command you to quit the body, to remove yourself, to return forthwith to the very bowels of the earth. <laughs> It hasn't worked. The Reverend has been driven back from the presidential bed. He's covered from head to foot. Walter, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that anyone could do better than he did. Uh, uh, can, can you tell us, Eric, is uh, anyone else scheduled to attempt an exorcism? Walter, the next attempt at an exorcism is going to be made by the Secretary of State. A Dibbuk. A Dibbuk is all you are. My people have dealt with Dibbuks for centuries, and when you deal with a Dibbuk, you don't issue an ultimatum because the situation is too dangerous and too promising. What I propose is a two step procedure a preliminary withdrawal from the president's body to a line 18 centimeters north of the bedstead. Oh, that sounds reasonable enough. Why don't we shake on it? I don't shake hands with Dibbuks. Peace is at hand, Henry. I, I can't. I, I can't shake hands with a Dibbuk. Peace is at hand. Uh, no, no, I, I, I can't. I, I, I've got to get out of here. The president opened his mouth and a stream of napalm ten feet long shot out. The, the smell is of burning flesh. They're trying to put out the flames. The, the president's bed is rising off the floor, rising above the flames. And now I can't believe what I see. His head is describing a complete circle on his neck. But how long can the president's body hold out? Walter, it's anyone's guess. The bed has returned to the floor. And now I... I see the venerable senator from North Carolina striding out. He's got his Bible in his hand. If this doesn't work, there's no... Men shook and trembled the earth, and the foundations were moved. I didn't order any country ham. And they were shaken because he was wroth. Smoke went up in his anger, and consuming fire out of his mouth... Coals flamed forth from him, and he bent the heavens, and he came down. A thousand more years. It looks like a standoff. Law and order. 
The president and the senator are locked in confrontation, glaring at each other, roaring at each other, but there's no sign that the sinister presence is yielding. The senator is fumbling in his pocket for something. It may be medicine. He's very shaken. No, no, it, it's not medicine. It's another book. A little blue book. We, the people of the United States... In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. It's worked. The nexicism is working. But the flames are subsiding. The air is growing clear. The body of the president is disappearing as we watch it. The legs have already vanished. The arms are going. The face is growing dim. There's nothing left on the bed, nothing at all but a spotless white sheet and see, but from the president's lapel, his little American flag. Nor be deprived.